How's it going YouTube? It's Junkie here again. Uh, today's video we're going to be talking about this device. This is the Sony Xperia Z tablet or Tablet Z. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to root it. So if you're looking for super su or super user on your device, I've got it figured out for you right here. We're going to have a quick video. It's going to be fun. Let's go do this. So to root the Xperia Tablet Z, first we need to go over basically what I've got here so everybody's on the same page. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to scroll over to settings right there. And we're going to scroll down here to about tablet. So to root your device, you're going to need to know a couple of things. One of them, you're going to need to know your model number right there. Very, very important to know that model number, write it down. Make sure you've got it handy. You need to know your Android version. Right there is Android 4.4.4 KitKat. So that's what I'm on right now. And then lastly, you need to know your build number. It's very important that those things all match so this process goes through as smoothly as possible. While you're in here looking at this, go ahead and tap on your build number about 10 times. And it's going to say you are are a developer. Once you see that, you can go back one screen and you will have these developer options. Since you're in here, go ahead and make sure it's turned on. Make sure USB debugging is checked, just like it's, you can see here. That's very important to get your drivers and everything functioning correctly on your device. Now, just to show you, that's what I'm running. Um, very simply, I can also show you I have root checker here just to prove that I do not have root access right now. See, sorry device does not have root access. And what you're going to need to do this is download a bunch of things to your computer so you have them. And then we're going to run a bunch of commands from our computer. So that's the prerequisites. That's what I'm working with right here. The Sony Xperia Tablet Z 10.1 inch device. Let's shoot to my computer and let me show you this process. All right, guys. So here we are. This is the XDA thread with the directions. But I'm going to try to make it easier for you. Um, but basically, all you need to do over here and you can download it from here or not. I'll give you links to this in the video description, but basically you're going to need these files right here. One and two, two different kernels. All right. Um, if you have these other two devices, you can use the same process with them. It's the 312 and the 321. Just download their correct kernels and you will be good to go. So that being said, let's um, shoot over to my computer here and show you what else you're going to need. So this is where I've got all my files right here for this device. There's a whole bunch of them. But right here you can see the two kernels. And then you're also going to need to download the flash tool. So which is this file. And I'll link you to it. And then you're probably going to want to have the drivers for this device. Where are they at here? Um, either flash tool drivers or these drivers right here. So, like I said, you can get all these files. I'll be linked in the video description down below. The other one, um, like the drivers and stuff, you can actually get from my site right here. Here's the flash tool. You can download it. And then um, those drivers are right next to it. So everything will be right here on my rootjunkiesdl.com site. You should be good to go. All right, so let's get into this process. So make sure you install your drivers. Get those done right here. Unzip them, install them. Make sure they're functioning. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and install this program, uh, the flash tool right here, which is actually this program right here. So once it installs, it's going to look like this. Go ahead and open this up for you guys. There you go. And you got these files right here. Now, that being said, this is how it looks like when it opens. Um, we got to move some files around. So this is the flash tool, right? Let's go ahead and copy these two files. Copy them. And you need to put them wherever the flash tool installed. So my flash tool installed over here. Flash tool, firmware, and you need to paste them in right here. Okay? These right here are all the things you can flash in the flash tool. Anything you put here, you can flash in the flash tool because the flash tool will then see it. All right, so I already copied mine in. They're right there and right there. Um, and this is just where you need to put them. So it's under, mine's under C drive, flash tool, firmware, paste in your FTF files. All right. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and click on the uh, lightning bolt. And we're going to say flash mode. And we're going to pick, 
Um, we want to pick the 105A0230. That's an older kernel, and that's what we want to flash to our device. And to flash that to our device, um, that allows us to use an exploit to get root access. And it uses, you're using basically tile root. But the newer kernel, you can't do that. So we're downgrading just the kernel. That's what we're going to be doing here in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and hit flash. And it gives you this information saying go ahead and unplug and plug back in. So let's go to the device and let's do that. I'm not ever even plugged in yet, but that's what we're going to do. All right, so here we are at the device. You can see my device is powered up. I'm going to go ahead and power it off. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and open up our little USB port here on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and get ready to plug this in. Now this is kind of critical because you have to hold the volume down button while you plug it in and keep holding it. And you'll, you'll hear a beep on the computer and it's going to go ahead and start the flash. Just let go of it as soon as you hear that. And you can see the program running through. And it says device connected in flash mode at the end. There you go. You just flash the old kernel. So from here the easiest thing to do, it's not going to reboot itself, is just go ahead and unplug it. Go ahead and hit the power button and kind of hold it until this device boots up might have to push it once or twice. There you go, there's a Sony. So we're gonna let that finish booting. And, uh, and now we should be able to exploit with towel root because we have a kernel that can be exploited by it. So we're gonna plug this thing back in. I'm gonna show you that the older kernel is now installed on the device. So we'll go ahead and yeah, plug it in. All right, there we go. And as soon as it boots up here, you'll see the old kernel is installed. We'll go into um, about device or about tablet, and we'll check that out. So we'll go right in here to settings. Here you go, about tablet, and it has an old. That's the build, but this is the new kernel right here. New kernel version is an older version, so that hasn't changed there. But it's now exploitable. So from here, we're going to go back to the flash tool. And we're going to see where it says my SGP3XX. You're going to click on that and you're going to say root. And you're going to go down to force towel root. And then you're going to pick, well, whichever you prefer, either super user or super sue. I prefer super sue. So I'm going to click that one and hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and push a bunch of files to your device. And you should get a pop up here on the device. There it is and tower root, just click the make it rain button and in a second your device should uh, should reboot at least normally that is what happens let's go ahead and see what we get here there it is so device is rebooting and when it gets done rebooting it's gonna finish a little bit of root process and you're gonna see that you have root access on your Sony Xperia Tablet Z there is going to be one more step here at the end to um, officially get us back to the right kernel so that this device performs as optimally as it can. And we'll use the flash tool to flash that other kernel back very, very simply. But let's let this finish because you're going to see, leave everything connected right here because you're going to see that the tool, when it reconnects, is going to do a couple more steps. There you go. It's checking root access. It's allowing root access. Go ahead and unlock it. And see, it says root access allowed. Should just take a second here. Not sure if it's done or not. We'll we'll check here with root checker. Well, let's go in the app drawer really quick. You just want to make sure root access is functioning. So there is super sue. You can say no thanks. That's fine. We can go to root checker. It's another app you can download and verify root access. You should get a pop up, which you do, and grant and boom you have root access all right let's finish the upgrade process so from here we're on the flash tool we're going to go ahead and click that flash button again flash mode and we're going to select the original kernel right here that's the original kernel and we're going to say flash and again it's going to tell us the same process disconnect turn off power so we'll do that disconnect turn off power 
okay and then again we have to hold the volume down button kind of hard to do and hit the hold, push the cord in and just wait until the computer sees it and as soon as it does let go of the volume down button and it flashed very very quickly all right so from here you can close the flash tool we are done with it let's go ahead and um, unplug the device and go ahead and power it up again you might have to hold it once or twice to do it and it should power up and you have basically successfully gone ahead and you have downgraded the kernel use tile root exploit to give you root access along with installing super sue you've checked it and now you've upgraded the kernel back to the original kernel and voila you have root access on your device it is basically that simple um, another prerequisite another thing I would recommend is going ahead and downloading the um, official firmware TT or FT FTF file again if you have this device I have it on my website you can get it from rootjunkiesdl.com and that's it you got root access on your device again we can double check it really quickly we'll go into root checker and verify root access shabam there it is and you're done that's it guys hope you guys like this video here on rooting the Sony Xperia Tablet Z stay tuned for more videos on this device like installing custom recovery doing official um, firmware restore unbrick on the device and we'll catch you in the next one root junkie out